not the single blow that's going to cause as much damage as the repeated bouncing and the shearing of these axons. They heal. This mylon sheath, this white outer coating does heal, but it leaves a scar. And just like if I went in your truck and I peeled off every other, you know, insulation off every other wire, the truck would still start, right? But what would happen to performance? Ever had a bad plug? Sure. You get around, but you backfire. You can't drive as fast, you don't think as quick. And that's over time when we start seeing some of these changes that we see in old boxers. You know? And it's because of the duration and the number of hits, not necessarily a single blow to the head. Can bad things happen to a single blow in the head? Certainly, I'm not denying that. But I'm saying if we're gonna compare a boxing situation to a bare knuckle sit situation, I would much rather be, personally, as somebody who values their brain, I would much rather be in a bare knuckle situation than I would in a boxing situation from the neck up in a neurological situation because my the, this, this diffuse axonal shearing, this basically tearing of the wires that transmit information in the brain does not take place at near the intensity or the frequency as you see in repetitive boxing matches. Nobody wants to hit somebody in the skull. Nobody wants to hit somebody, you know, in that area because you could basically end a fight. If you can't use your hands, then you can't hit as hard in the torso, solar plexus, etc. And that becomes a huge issue. That becomes an issue that puts these bare knuckle fighters at a disadvantage. Whereas a boxer is encouraged, you know, go for the head and the body will die. And it's not, it's not exactly the same mentality that you see in a bare knuckle. So not only do we have a difference in, in technology in terms of you know this glove allowing the, you know these these fighters to punish somebody in the head repeatedly over and over with no threat to their hands no insult whatsoever you know a boxer can walk out of there like this okay a bare knuckle guy not going to be able to do that that's it. there's just no way they can sustain that number of blows to the head even if they had wanted to and they don't want to so that away, you're talking about less frequency, meaning an average boxing match of 36 minutes. That the person's gonna get hit in the head how many times a round? Three minute rounds? I mean, significantly. All that's the swelling that's taking place, the secondary concussion stuff, is so much more likely in a boxing scenario than it is in a, a, a bare knuckle fighting scenario. And historians of, of different types of art forms of fighting support this. Would you attribute that to? Would it be just less blows to the head? Yes, less blows to the head. Um, in some respects, yes, it's less frequent blows to the head, and and less over time. Meaning the frequency and severity. The severity might be one thing, okay, but you're just not going to happen as often. The goal is not to knock the person out. The goal is to get the person to say, "I've had enough. I'm done. Okay, I can no longer go go forward with this." Thing. Where in boxing, the idea is that you hit them until they are senseless. Well, well let me ask you this, then, sir. Would you rather be hit with a bare fist or uh, Five and a half foot of wraps on a bare fist. A regular bare fist. Okay. Would you rather be hit with five and a half foot of wraps or five and a half foot of wraps inside a glove? Five and a half feet of wraps. Okay. 
Well, I think that answered my question. Well, is that, is now, my face might not be, not that it's pretty now, but my face might not be as pretty after that, but my brain would be in better shape, and I'd much rather have a broken tooth or a broken nose or a broken jaw than a damaged brain. But my nose will heal. If you're boxing because you have will to, I would think, and if, in fact, uh, it is a blood sport. This is informed consent. These are adults. Yeah. These are not, these are not, these are not, you know, people being forced to do this. In other words, bare knuckles not going to keep them from getting a bloody nose. Or oh, absolutely. A tooth comes through the front of their mouth. Oh, sure. Anything else happened like that. Right. But it would give them a better chance to pass the driver's test next time. <laughs> Probably so. Okay. Without, 